All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Roko. We're back at again playing another episode of The Walking Dead, tell, the Telltale series. I think I uh, finished up uh, episode two in my last stream, and I just up uploaded uh, the, the entire uh, VOD, the video, on to my um, video channels. It's all over my socials. Oh, man, that w I would say episode two was really intense, damn. Talk about hard choice you have to make in a difficult spot. And not just refer to like, you know, like killing someone in, in the group, you know, like in general, or just have to, like probably have to make those like gun wrenching decisions, not just killing uh, only. Uh, most notably, uh, the one that I had to, you know, in episode two, I had to pass out food to the group. But only had, I, there was 10 people in the group. But still, but there were only four food items, so I had to plan ahead which who deserved to eat. It was very really difficult for me, but yeah. So not, that that was a like another uh, tough decision for me to do in this game. But you know, so what this this entire game is it built up for making those harsh, just like very harsh, uh, difficult choices, and it could possibly impact your. Uh, your entire uh, gaming experience do 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 at this entire game. So I can't wait to play episode three. Uh, thank you everyone for joining uh, right now on the stream and those who's watching. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna post this out my all all of my socials. I want to thank you for the love and support. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's go. Go. Here we go. Episode three. A long road ahead. Picked up a new, new member of the group. See how this all. See how, see how this all plays out. Previously. On the Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Alright, here we go. Where are we? Okay, it's Lee. It's Lee and Kenny. Episode three, long road ahead. Like, oh, this. Let's go open up something. Search. Looks like searching, this is searching our lucky for something. Day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. Just the two of us. Oh, 
Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but you made up your mind yet? Hmm. Not much for the best when you get out of that motel. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Back to Lee's family's drugstore. It's called L. Everett Prescription. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Alright. So we're going back to Lee's family's drugstore to get more, see if we get more prescriptions for the group. Oh, okay. Okay, you got a truck here with a winch. Charging everything. Look at huh. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. Hey. Yeah. Still sore? I took a bullet to the gut. What do you think? Maybe you should have stayed behind. I'll be all right. Think we'll find anything? Ain't much left in there. You're right. We're lucky we found that station wagon. Despite you getting all high and mighty about it. If we'd hit the road like I suggested, we wouldn't be in this situation. I'm coming up. Ladder's right there. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. There's no safe way through that mess. Oh, we could, oh you pushed the jeep. Uh, push the jeep. Ah, mm. uh, just like we can't. Uh, the winch. Hmm. Looks like it still works. Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. You really think so? I don't know, man. I've been thinking and... Huh, I just don't know. Alright. Let's get up there. Oh, hell, it's a helicopter. Wow, I didn't see that. So much for the military. Test the winch. Uh, let's see what happens. I think. Let's see. Winch control. Oh, and the Jeep. Driver's seat. Your girl's still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him. Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, 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 Jesus. 
Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's a, it's a live person. Oh my god, no walker on the trail. Somebody help me! Oh god! I'm dead. Oh my god, she's trying. Oh my god. What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, she's done for. We gotta keep moving. Let's just leave her. Let's think about this. Oh, she's already bitten. Shit. No, oh, can't, can't help her now. Put her out of this misery. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. God damn, she was already surrounded. Damn, she already, and she was already bitten. Shoot her or leave her. I can't help her now. Just leave her. It was the only smart decision. I had to do it. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Alright, I try to get everything. She's gone. There's not much time now. Alright, okay. I fast grab all these. Come on, come on. Fast grab. Come on. Come on, grab. Gravity, come on. Energy bar. Try to do it as fast as I can, my god. It's been so sensitive. Uh. Oh shit. The weapon has a lot of supplies. Incoming. Lot of okay, good. Come on, Lee. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, come on. Come on. Can't hurt me now. Let's go, pal.
Damn. They're like, Matilda suffered a lot of attacks from those bandits. And the arrows. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Um, that's a lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We don't have walker problems. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. And we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What it. about medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. Hmm. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. Hey, if you don't agree with it, then we'll take everything we got in these bags and put it in a pile marked, No Hypocrites, and you can use everything else. Yeah, sure I don't we, like living sure like this. Anyways, Christ, right folks. Bitten. It's not getting any easier. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Yeah, she'll get over it. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Things are coming to a head. You could say that. 
Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. So we got a thief among us. Gotta, gotta investigate that. Probably follow up on the missing supplies. See what she get. See if she has Lily has more info on that. We just. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? Uh, found stolen, stolen supplies. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Hmm. Let's follow up. For real? For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm. Alright. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Oh, she could put the blame on me no matter- my god. So come up with nothing, I get I the blame entirely. It's mess that's messed up. Jesus, Doc. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> you can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Damn, damn. Lee was probably was freaked that one. Duck stuck up behind him like Jesus, duck. <laughs> the boy lives up to his name. Duck will help. Okay, just hope he doesn't spill the beans on everybody. Oh, I'll stuck at the Clem. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Clint. <laughs> okay. The way you say, mm, yes, with a smile. Uh, -uh. <laughs> uh gotcha. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. 
Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. Jesus, it's survive. the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. You guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. Alright. Okay, so... It's Clem. Or it wasn't Clem. Got your Kenny. Uh, she wanted to talk to me for a few minutes. Say that for last. Let's go to uh, Ben. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Okay, where's little detective duck? Has it made any progress? I can't go, can't, can't go this way. So, can't you say there's broken glass in the ice machine? There's some broken glass on the ground there. There's something drawn there. Pink chalk. Go with X. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Back. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Okay. So we got a X sign with pinks drawn by pink chalk, broken glass that matches the the, the busted flashlight. Hmm. I, saw, I think I saw some Clem that has some pink chalk. Let's see. Oh, I can ask about the. Okay. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Okay, Clementine. That's Ben. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my. Well, my thoughts. And I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. 
That's what it's there for. <laughs> Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. I think things, Duck thinks you're incredibly awesome. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Okay, let's talk to uh, Carly. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah. She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I'm fine. Oh, brood. I know you're fine. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. makes a good point you're probably right of course i'm probably I want to get right. out the way for people Lee's might sakes. be pissed and telling them might cause some trouble but it will be a far cry from what will happen if they don't hear it from you yeah so you'll do it then i'll let people know you're totally right good i think it's for the best ah uh. Try not to play stoic. It makes your forehead crinkle. Does Carly have a thing for Lee? Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor in a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Do you have any... Uh chalk I can borrow. What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I? You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Okay. It's now another time to confess. I wanna get it out of the way. It's best for Lee. Let's see. Guy. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie.
Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Yeah, I can't bottle that shit have up. Any questions? I'll eat you, you inside. Back to your things. You ball that stuff up. <laughs> to be honest, I know from experience. Hi, guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. Uh... I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and... You know, I, I was worried. I just smashed a guy's head in with a 50-pound block of salt. You saw me do that, right? Yeah, I did. You're talking about who we were? The fuck does that matter? It's everything this mess has got us doing now, Lee. Shit. Look, is Duck safe around you? Of course. Then shut it. You don't owe anybody any kind of explanation. Alright, so we <laughs> go, go, go with Kenny. Uh, Kaja? Alright, I'm just gonna Appreciate your honesty. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Okay, we gotta go with Clem. We'll go with Clem and Kenny. See what Katja, how Katja takes it. That was for three months ago. I was uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Lily back and... Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> okay, so... Gotcha. Are we in between? Did she take it good Everything or not? Everything keeps changing. Damn, she didn't take it well. Okay, we'll remember that. Ben. Hey Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I'm uh I'm a convicted murderer. Whoa, seriously? How would I joke about that? I don't know. Um wow. You're a part of this group and you should know. I've never met a murderer before. Well, I hadn't, I mean. I know what you meant. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Okay. Oh, and forget that. I think... Wait, oh, yeah, I a duck. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Okay, can't talk. Can't tell him right. Oh, truck Scott. Fuck scuff. Somebody was over here too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Okay, so I can't confess to Duck. I probably will he probably won't remember it.
Wait, does Lily know? I gotta tell Lily. I'm serious, wonder. Hey. Find anything? I need to tell you something. What is it? I killed someone before all of this. You think that's news? I guess I hoped it was. Worse. Did you think that story died with my dad? Ah, oh, she t he told her. Anything else? No. All right, let's get the evidence. Hey. Find anything? So there's this chalk marking on the wall on the side of the motel, and matching scuff on the other side, leading out of the gate. Someone is working with those fuckers. I know it. Whoever it is went out to do something, but we come and go all the time. I don't want to create more paranoia. Go outside and look. You have to. Okay. Do you ever want to leave here? I want to leave here when we have to. Not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go. Are you worried about morale at all? The darker things get, the more we have to worry about people giving up. Tell me about it. You're worried about people's moods? Have an ice cream social. I'll be back. All right, got that. I confess, I got, got that cleared out of the way. Uh, should look outside for more evidence. Wait, should I confirm with Carly? I told everybody. Is that a thing? Let me see. I uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? He was cool. He just worries about his family. That wasn't so hard, was it, tough guy? I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. It went about as well as you would expect. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. All right, let's go. Let's get out. Look for more evidence. I'm the great. Let's see. <gasps> oh, the pills, the medicine. Son of a bitch. All right, so we got FIFA among us taking our shit. <laughs> Needs to be dealt with. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? 
What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get your ass out there. out here! Oh we shit. Ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! We're gonna start kicking indoors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> shit, I gotta distract him. Enough of this bullshit! Drew! Stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. We have more supplies. We can keep the deal going. Too late, shithead! We ain't given second chances. It, it was a mix-up. We'll make it worth your while. I'm listening. What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. Got it. Done. Is that so? Well... I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. And shut up, bro! Christ! Yeah, there we go. Oh shit! Shot. Oh shit, damn. Damn, fuck. Damn. That was really fast, too. Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Oh, I shot him, but he went so fast, fast so fast. Pull around, shit, this range is back there! Oh, shit. 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 There we go. Oh my god. Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get your asses around behind. I see you. There we go. Gotcha. Hurry, come on! Get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! Oh, Christ! Let me get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? 
Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You're in no position to make demands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Probably not the best time, Lily. If not now, when? Look at what just happened. Yeah, why her? We're all okay now, though. Why her? This seems like a stab in the dark, Lily. She's always so eager to see what supplies we found. She never talks about her family. She could be related to those bastards for all we Whoa, know. Whoa, my family's not a bunch of meth riddled forest people. They're fucking Lutheran. You're not saying it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look, Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay? Guys, we have to act now. I know it sounds nuts, but we have a traitor here. Do you guys get that? Someone who puts their insidious shit above everyone else. Thank you, Lee. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Oh. Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Alright, well, we can deal with this now then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily... Out. Penny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fucking kick you out. Thing we should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker. You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. And you have no other options. Leave him alone. You can tell me it was Carly, and then everything will be right as rain. Don't you think so, Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything, just- You think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please! God, please! You're pathetic. Look at you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this, you're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. Ah, this is about trust, and I've shit. never trusted you. Tell her. Just do it, Ben. Wait, Jesus, well, who are you right tell now? Her what? She'll kick me out of the group. We won't. We'll understand. Tell me. Now. I got him. He's, let's just get back in That's the not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Oh, fuck. Jesus. Drop it! Jesus, very square in his face. Penny! What's happening? You duck away from the windows! Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. 
What are we gonna do with her? God damn. Leave her for the walkers. Ben, Lee! Why? Why, Lily? You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. Damn, R.I.P. Carly. Lee, a word, please? I'll talk to Clem. Okay. Hacha needs you for something. Okay. What's up? You stuck feeling all right? Oh, fuck. He's bitten. What the fuck? Happened during the raid. Oh, damn. What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Damn, Doug's been okay. a little boy. God, yeah. God damn it. That's a Clem. Doug is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. What about Carly? Gone, but won't come back. Because she was shot in the head. That's right. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. Uh, that's nice. I didn't though. Thanks. Oh fuck. What happened? Holy shit! Jesus Christ. Get off of me! Oh, it's a dream. Okay. We got something up ahead. Damn it. Roads blocked. Now we gotta deal with this.
Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Claire, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That didn't cross my mind. I look inside the RV. Let's see. Oh, a pencil. Take that. I'll stare. Anything else? Let's talk to the group. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. Hey, man. We're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. I gotta look at some for wa water for duck. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about it. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I do. Don't. I liked her, but she's gone now. I'm sorry, Lee. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. to Ben what would you have done with Lily I don't know left her I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now yeah but not like that was it you not this again was it no okay then <laughs> you were happy you stayed with us all this time yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's go. Box door car. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. 
but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. I saw I've been living here in his train. Stay on guard. Oh, oh, here's that water for duck. Take that. I'll take this to Kendra for duck. Oh, it's a map. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. All right, we're on the right track. Looks like it'll get that pin out. Can you see it? Let's see. There's got to be a better way to do this. Shit. Broken. Derailed. There's got to be a better way to do this. Can't do it by hand. Need, need some sort of uh, item to lift that pin. Uh, store car. Okay, can go to the next one. Let's see. No, oh, it says okay. Engine compartment. Might be something inside. Oh, okay, got some tools, spike remover, spanner, monkey wrench. No, try the spike remover. Get that pin out. Nothing. Oh, it's, it's, it was the, the same compartment? Oh, I didn't know the difference. Let's see. Okay. Let's, use, let's put that spike in with your test to get that uh, train card unhinged from the derailed one. And oh yeah, so yeah, bring the water to God Jeffrey Duck. Okay, making good progress here. We're on a train where we need to go to Savannah, where Kenny's headed. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, it's stuck. I can definitely pry this thing free if I can break it loose first. There's got to be a better way to do this. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Okay, can you, okay, can you use that now? Here, found some water. 
Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. Let's go to the... Uh, the driver. Train driver door. I have all these compartments. We gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. Oh, there we go. Good thing moving. Right, it's up. just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Man, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. It's a bunch of papers. A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Okay. Let's... Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Ooh. Oh, the pencil I got. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Okay, engine startup. Okay, numbers and stuff like switch positions to get this train moving. I'm six. Like two squares down. Two rectangles up. Two risk. Two. Oh, it squares up and one down in the middle. Hmm, it's not. Um, I'll say that. Like a beat. Let's forget. I'll, I'll, I'll do, let, let's do, uh, let's do five. Five, okay. Five. Oh, do I have to do, uh, start from six? Okay. So I can't choose that to just start like this and this says six five nine nine.
Bam. There we go. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up. So far, so good. Five. Oh, your farm looks easy. Now we're talking. I'll see nine or I said a couple of switches in the uh, engine compartment. Let's see. I think this was it. Nine. So one to the left. That's to the right. Okay, there we go. Should do it. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. All yours. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. All right, look, we got the spike remover. Things to loosen that thing up. There we go. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch oh, any of my stuff. Chuck, Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. It's still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Shame I give you candy. Oh. You have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. 
Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Oh, gotcha. check. Brain's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Sorry. Give me I had to give the attitude shit. I better get back to it. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids, and this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Alright, let's get this. Let's get going with this train. <laughs> So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Damn, camp gonna do a lot, bro. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them. No. Ah, living got them. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. 
Damn. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Damn. He's transforming. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Thanks. Team Katja has admitted it. Well, Kenny's in denial. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. I'm stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. I'm gonna get this train stopped right quick. Now I gotta confront Kenny. But now his denialism. I mean, what's happening around him? <sighs> Damn. It's family, bro. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? His son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Damn. I gotta put some sense into him. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. The best. You're acting like nothing's wrong, and somebody's got to knock some sense into you. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Ah, dodges it. Jabs. I've had your back. Don't make me fucking regret it. You want to hurt people because you're afraid? Losing duck ain't enough for you! Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen. Damn hope that was not just something to him. Bring him back to reality. We still have my back, my friend. I'm sorry. There you go, knock some sense into Kenny. Stop the train. Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Damn, feel for game was going through right now. Shit. What do you need? I. I. Gotcha. It's time to. This is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if. What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. 
Papers. Come on, Cat. You think of one. You let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. He can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. You don't have to. Oh my God. God, you are talking about off, like, I, off in I, your I son. Can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. Let me do it. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Get straight up with her. Buck is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm gonna make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. What the fuck? She could. She. 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 Oh. 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 oh she fuck. Won't bring that shit. Say he'll do it. I gotta see this. Give gotta see this through. Again. I'll do it. My God! Oh my God! It's so hot. fucking it's, it's stressful and terrible. Shit. I miss you, little buddy. Sleep well in heaven. Love you.
understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What are you thinking about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I to took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We actually do have a plan. We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. She'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Where are you headed? Uh, that way? I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Is that it? I bet. Mind if I get by here for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Hey. Yeah? Still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Can. It's the best plan. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat... would be, uh... okay with you. So forget it. Okay. I'd like to 
Bim bim. Hey. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. All right. Any min? Aren't many of us left? Aren't many of us left? Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude, if he sticks around. Are you going to be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. See ya. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. Okay, then all yeah. my chatter with Ben. Alright, let's check out. Yeah, check on Clint. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Box of whiskey. A bottle of whiskey, not right there. It's a fifth of whiskey. He's lived here a while. There's some scissors in Chuck's bag. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. What a crappy day. Crappiest. And three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. You need to know how to protect yourself. Top priority. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. The aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles. But you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly, and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. There we go. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. I 
Okay, a little higher. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. A little bit lower. Aim more to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. There we go. There you go. Nice. There we go. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Don't come to protect yourself. All right, that's good. Oh yeah, I gotta cut her hair, so she won't be easy. To grab our walkers. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no, what happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Alright, let's do it. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Eh, how hard can it be? It's cutting hair. How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. You're right. Before all of this, I was sent to jail, you know? Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no. You look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Clementine's hair is a lot safer now. It's good. Right. Okay, let's go outside. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. the old guys do it. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Yeah, yeah. Can use a drink right now. Sure. Not known for its finish. 
Little kid. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Definitely Kenny needs it. All the stuff he's been through, he needs to drink a whole lot of it. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. I can get some of that map pin. Giving the bandits supplies. Oh, you bitch! Fucking what? Trying to be fucking asshole. Oh, you got duck killed. You got duck killed. It's all my fault. Such a thrill, just train, bro. All right. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend. That he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. Oh, he will kill you. Not. Damn. A little disappointed that like, I have a choice to throw him off the train right now. After admitting what he did. God, got into this, he got us into this mess. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. City could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay, and well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Very good. That's the... Can I... Tell my parents, you know. Sure, go ahead. All right. How do you feel? 
Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. Thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. You guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your folks. train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. We'll be down here. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. Omid What's the deal Krista. with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? I'm gonna check this thing out. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. It's empty. Oh, it's in here. FRS truck.
That's about the only useful thing in here. Empty. That's what I figured. Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Make here useful. Okay. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh me. What? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? Y'all want some candy? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. Sometimes. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me. Maybe we can drive in shifts. Mm. We'll see. Talk to you later. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Okay, let's learn. Let's talk to Krista. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> you two will be thick as thieves. Oh, look. With, uh, Lee being professor. Interested in Southern history. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, it'd be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask me. He likes to break things. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. All right, I'll check that station back there. Can I follow you 
you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Fermentine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Alright, we're here. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. We'll have to find a way in. I can't see in there. <clears throat> mm, won't but the windows open up there. Maybe I could look in. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. <clears throat> okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. All right, there we go. Well, I'll be damned. Good job. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. There's gotta be something useful in here. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Oh, blood. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. We're locked up good. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. They didn't have much business back then. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoop. Behind you! Oh shit. Fuck!
was close. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Square in the eye. God damn. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Okay, good. I do that. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No. You just have to learn to pull the trigger. It's so hard. Don't think. Just do it. Live with what happens. I'll try. All right, get the blowtorch. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Think this'll work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Oh, the tape I have. This holes. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? <laughs> Shut up and start cutting. Oh, shit. Omi, cut, cut! I am! It's 
Gotta jump! What? No way! Guys! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! You're the one with the broken leg. She has two working okay. functions, right? I'm okay. That was a lot. Then. Are you hurt? No, we're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Next stop, the Atlantic. We find in Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them there. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. Oh, that's the end of it. Next time on The Walking Dead. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. 
We're leaving. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! Alright, uh, walking to it. It's for every very corner. Around very corner. I said around every corner. Sweet merciful death. Did you shoot the girl in the streets? No, did not shoot. Left behind. Did you abandon Lily? 45%. Stand up. Did you fight Kenny? Yeah, I'd knock something to him. 50% players fought him. Did you shoot Duck? Wow, 81% shot Duck. It's for the best. Help hand the child Omid. 60%, yeah. But, you, but he was complaining, like, when he's, yeah, yeah, busted leg, you're not even gonna make it. So, but she had, Krista has, like, two functioning working legs. She could, she would've made it anyway, she was running speed, but you were, like, limping, bro. But you're mad at me for saving you first? Whatever. Wow, very, I'll say that was a, Emotional roller coaster right there in this episode. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap it right here for the stream. Well, yeah, like I said, it was like the episode, most of roller coaster, especially what happened. Yeah. I very much enjoyed the this game. Whew, man, trying to take it all in. But yeah, uh, I want to thank everybody for who joined the stream. Uh, I'm gonna put this video, uh, this vod on my video channels, my YouTube Rumble and Odyssey channels. Uh, thanks for you. Thank you all for the support, and just in general, thank you all for the love. And I want to wish you all a good one. And I probably see you probably either tomorrow or soon. And also, I got some great news. Some great news for once. Been having like you know, a little a little I'll say uh, difficult day today, but luckily that one small piece of a good good positive news. We'll make up for it today i got my i just got my ps my, my ps5 playstation 5 i've been ever i've been trying to get it ever since it dropped uh, like unfortunately you no know, the boss scalpers been getting in my way but luckily saw my opportunity uh uh got my order my ps5 got and i just got it so that's a great news i can't wait for you i can't wait to play some uh some great PS5 games for y'all you know, on the stream and show you uh, like this uh, beast of a console what's it's capable of. I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, probably 
very soon I'll start to play some PS5 games on stream and incorporate it to my videos. So yeah, some good news. And I want you all wish you all have a good one. I'll see you all uh, in the next one. All right, take care.